Welcome back uh, to Danger Rumper 2. Um, we're still in the trial. Um, currently facing off against Junko and Ishima. And the last thing that happened was uh, was Hajime was like, was this just a meaningless killing game where the ultimate despairs killed each other off? That's This is just too... And then Makoto says, don't give up yet. There is a way you guys can get out of here without letting Junko out. Huh? No, no, there's no way such a convenient... There is? Really? Well, that's the first I've heard of it. First she's heard of it? Then it's a way that even Junko doesn't know, right? The way to get out uh, here that Junko doesn't know about. It must be that. I see. Are you talking about the shutdown sequence? Shutdown sequence? What is that? It's a hidden command I set up in the Neo World program. H hidden command? Basically, I never believed the Neo World program was a perfect solution. There was always a possibility that Usami's hope might have made things even worse for you guys. So I prepared a way to shut down the program in case of emergencies. As I recall, you said it was a command that not even the teacher can stop. And that means even Junko can't stop it. Dear me, I have an unfortunate announcement to make, class. You cannot activate the shutdown. Huh? You... you know about it? More importantly, do you know why? Do you know why you can't activate the shutdown? The reason the shutdown sequence can't be activated is... I see! Because there's not enough people? Sorry, I'm just adjusting. Okay. <clears throat> Pay attention, class. According to my information, in order to initiate the shutdown, out of 15 people, more than half of them must press graduate and repeat at the same time. Am I correct? However, out of 15 people, including Makoto, there are only six people here. Even if you want to cheat, I won't let you. The shutdown sequence won't activate unless it knows that different people initiated it. So it's totally impossible. You totally saw through that supposedly hidden command? No need to worry. Even I knew we couldn't activate the shutdown. You still came here when you knew we had no chance of winning? It's not that we have no chance of winning. The only reason I'm here is because there is a chance. Then try explaining it to us. What is this chance of winning of which you speak? <laughs> Junko, like, lying down in the background. I believe... What? I can't hear you. You gotta speak up since you're so puny. I believe in them. I believe they will definitely come. Them? That's not something you need to take your time saying. Believe. Try putting yourself in our shoes before you drag us into situations like this. Kyoko and Byakuya. Byakuya. I knew you guys would come. Kyoko. Byakuya. We'd be better off leaving behind someone who jumps to conclusions without listening to our warnings. I'm sorry. Even though it took some time for two people to enter the program simultaneously, it appears we made it. Hey, what's going on? Why are there more people again? How exciting! I haven't seen these faces in ages. It's like opening your high school yearbook ten years later. I must say, now that I'm seeing her up close, she's much bigger than I remembered. What? What kind of man isn't excited by big women? Once you gain some more experience, you'll understand. There's a lot of kinky things you can do with big girls. Shut up. <laughs> Byakuya, you're alive. But you're so skinny now. I feel so bad for you. You shut up too. <laughs> um, are you two also from the Future Foundation? No, it's probably not just that. The six of you joined the Future Foundation because you agreed with our ideals, right? The Future Foundation rescued you from the tragedy you survived and helped you recover from your memories. Tragedy. If the Killing School Life is referring to that. You guys are the survivors of the Killing School Life who previously defeated Junko, right? Yeah, that's right. 
Th There's three of them here now? The former heroes plunging themselves into the game world, ignoring all danger. Jeez, stupids! Making such a suicidal move! Did you really want to see me that badly? It can't be helped. In order to stop you, that suicidal move was our only choice. So how about it? There are eight people now. We have enough to activate the shutdown sequence. Yep, eight is high enough for 15. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you crying? <laughs> you guys showed up looking all cool and stuff. And now, all the ultimate despairs. <laughs> You said it again! Just ignore her. As long as we activate the shutdown sequence, it'll be the end of her in this messed up world. And this messed up world? Hey, can I ask you something? If we do shut down the program, what will happen to us? No need to worry. We won't let you get hurt. It's not just that. We want a more detailed explanation. If you shut down the Neo World program, Everything within the program will be deleted. It will obviously delete Alter Ego Junko, along with your avatars here. So you're saying we're going to be deleted too? It doesn't mean you'll be deleted. The program will just finish without completing the graduation program. What does that mean for us? Your avatars will not upload, so you will revert to your original state before you entered the program. Huh? Is there a reason to tell them all that? They have to know everything, or else they won't agree to do it. Hold on a second. If we go back to our original selves before we enter the program. If we're going to revert back to our original selves before we enter the program. I see! D does that mean we'll go back to being ultimate despair? That's right! Back to being hopelessly controlled. Oops, no. sorry. Are, are you fucking serious? Can't you do anything about it? I understand your concern. But this is the only way to stop Junko. It might be a painful decision, but I know you guys will be able to overcome it. That's why, in order to defeat Despair, I want you guys to fight alongside us. We still have to fight? I... I thought we finally reached the end! Don't worry. Once you get out, we will do our best to support you. But I thought the Future Foundation wanted to kill every last Ultimate Despair. For this reason, the remnants of despair must be immediately eliminated once they're discovered. When you say support, do you mean I'll make sure you don't suffer when I kill you, or...? Of course not. We would never allow that to happen. It's gonna be alright. Your real bodies have just been brainwashed. That's why... I'm pretty sure you'll quickly revert back to the state you're in right now. Can you stop saying cheesy stuff like brainwashed? Washing your brain is like... Really nasty. But, but still, even if our brainwashing is undone, the memories we've made up till now will be erased, right? Does that mean we'll completely forget everything we did on this island? I don't want that. It doesn't matter what you want. That's the reality. Every meaningless thing that happened here will vanish from your minds. Meaningless. Vanish. Does that include her, too? If we lose our memories of this world, we're also gonna get forget she ever existed, right? If that happens, does it really mean that that she, an existence confined to this world, is really gonna disappear? She risked her life to protect us, and we won't even remember she existed. Memory's not all that'll go back to normal. If you've lost a limb, like Nagito, it'll still be gone when... <gasps> Please stop! Going back to reality in that condition, that's like a bad joke. We're not joking. That is your past. Nobody can escape their past. We, we don't know anything about that past! Hey, why? Why did we become ultimate despair in the first place? I asked the same thing in the real world, but nobody would give me an answer. It seems my teachings were quite thorough. However, if you ask me, people who cling to stuff like hope, talent, or admiration are truly the weakest. Huh? Guys who desperately want to reach the top. They don't think about what'll happen when they're pushed off. 
They're probably too concerned with having a really nice view while they condescend to others. Shoving off guys like that is so easy. <laughs> I happen to know 17,082 ways to do that. The point is, the moment you cling to talent and hope, despair has already set in. That's not even an explanation. Then, what if you think about it like this? It turns out that you guys being ultimate despair was just part of the game world. And in truth, those guys from the Future Foundation might be part of the game world too. They're simply side characters of the game world whose role is to offer hopeless hope to you guys. Well, after saying all that, I don't even know what's real and what's a game anymore. Are you kidding around? Enough. My patience is wearing thin. Let's hurry and start the shutdown sequence already. Before you do that, we gotta do some reviewing. When you guys activate the shutdown, you'll revert back to when you were known as Ultimate Despair. And your dead friends will never be revived. And the embodiment of Despair, aka me, will be erased, thereby preserving hope in the real world. Now then, will the hope of the Future Foundation win, or will my despair win? All right! Things are starting to heat up! This isn't a game, you know. Au contraire. This is a game. The game of hope and despair that started with your killing school life. That explains why these chumps who weren't around last time have been reduced to mere side characters. You, you called us chumps again! <laughs> um, because it's true! Most importantly, the killing school trip wasn't just for your sake. Huh? There was a more important goal there. The goal of luring a specific group of people. Ah, since now's a great time, why don't we make that the question? C question? As long as we're in the game world, the rules say I gotta ask questions every now and then. So, question. Who did I lure and how did I do it? The hint is, I get bored easily. So the same outcome as the killing school life would be a pain in the ass. Okie dokie, let's all think about it together. Same outcome as the killing school life. Do I just have to remember what occurred there? The, pe the people Junker, Junker lured the method. I should try connecting those dots. There should be an answer there. Oh no. Okay, logic dive. All right, at least then I can, at least then I can think about it. All right, here we go. These logic dives are getting really hard, so I imagine this one's gonna be difficult. Or maybe it isn't. Maybe it's just a straight line the entire way. Alright. We're doing alright so far. Whoa! Alright. Yep, yep, yep. We got this. Question one. Who did Junko and even want to lure? Um, Future Foundation? Yes. Whoa. Oh, okay, well. Okay, <laughs> we just went through the ground. Question two. What bait was used to lure the future, future foundation? Uh, the killings, I would think.
Oh no, that's so difficult. Are you kidding me? You have to change your momentum halfway through. Oh my gosh, okay. Whoa. Okay. Question three. What did Junko use to force him to watch the killings? Oh, whoa. Ah, oh, I have to see how to spell it. Okay, not surveillance caramel. <laughs> surveillance cameras. They use the surveillance caramel. Got it. You use the surveillance cameras. You were trying to lure the future foundation by showing them the footage you were recording, weren't you? The surveillance cameras? That's what they were being used for? In the previous killing school life, the surveillance camera footage was broadcast outside of the school. You used the cameras that were placed throughout the entire island for the same purpose. Ding, ding, ding! I was broadcasting the Killing School trip live to every member of the Future Foundation. The, the footage you recorded with the surveillance cameras was shown to the Future Foundation? What shall I do? I did a lot of disgraceful things <laughs> in front of those cameras. You sure did. <laughs> I will never be queen now. Please forget what you saw. So you guys were watching us? Then why didn't you come rescue us earlier? We tried to hack in many times, but the virus within the program blocked us at every turn. Not only that, the Neo World program stopped accepting shutdown commands from the outside. As a last resort, we considered cutting power to the program, but... We didn't know what would happen to the subjects if we cut the power while the program was still running. There's no way we'd jeopardize your safety by taking such a gamble. Even so, we kept trying over and over again, until it was finally possible for us to enter the program just a short time ago. And you came all the way here when you knew it was a trap. I get it. You couldn't just leave them alone. If you saw people dying one by one with your own eyes by the same killing game you guys played, Hulk dictates that you act all high and mighty and say, Oh, I'm definitely gonna stop it this time, right? Hey, don't tell me that's the reason you made us go through all this. Of course we made you do it for that reason. We orchestrated this game instead of killing you outright solely to show it off to the Future Foundation. We were forced to solve puzzles and riddles just so you could show it off to the Future Foundation? That's why you guys are chumps. You're just the bait I use to catch a big fish called the Future Foundation. But it's not my fault, you know. This game is a fight between the Future Foundation and me. But you guys Whoops. already knew that when you chose to play this game, right? I always accidentally skip things. The game was just a fight between the Future Foundation and me. You guys were just instigators in the background. Just one second, please! That sounds as though we... As though we wanted to come to this world of our own free will. But that's precisely the truth. Huh? You guys chose to be instigators, and you were willingly taken into the Neo World program. To provide the opportunity I needed to push this battle between hope and despair into overtime. That's right. The reason the ultimate despairs began killing each other was set up by the group itself. That's just your imagination. Uh, naive Makoto totally fell for the trap. Oh, and now your face is filled with a lovely shade of despair. <laughs> Whoa, that despair is fucking obvious. You're here to rescue the assholes who set this up in the first place. Don't go blaming us for this. Thank you. It's all thanks to you guys. This time around, I might be able to fill these guys with despair. We do not feel despair. Even if this was all a trap, we will never regret coming here. And this is the only thing we could do to stop you. But nevertheless, it's all over. We will shut you down and end all of this. You're pretty fucking desperate. Oh, that's pretty fucking obvious. If you don't initiate the shutdown, those future Foundation fuckwits are gonna be trapped here forever. Trapped? Why would that happen? <laughs> Didn't I already explain it? You know, the graduation exam rule? No! 
There are two, ta two options, graduate and repeat, right? You just have to choose one of them and press it. All of you will cast your vote, and whichever one has the majority will be considered your final decision. But that's not all, right? In order to pass the graduation exam, there was one more requirement. The other requirement to pass the graduation exam is... Uh... I see. Teacher. As I recall, we also need the teacher's final decision. To participate in the graduation program, you need my permission as your acting teacher, you know. What? Does that mean if we... If... Does that mean it won't end with just a majority vote? After the vote, I'm gonna judge every single one of you to see if it's okay for you to graduate or not. So even if we vote, you're saying we won't graduate unless you acknowledge it? Obviously, there's no way I'd let the members of the Future Foundation graduate. So if you can't activate the shutdown, the Foundation will enter the endless life of repeating the grade. Hmm. That's only if the shutdown sequence doesn't activate, right? But that's impossible. Everyone here understands how dangerous it is to release you into the real world. We know that. All too well. I mean, she's been bad-mouthing us this whole time. Oh. Looks like you shouldn't have talked so much. Out of the mouth comes evil, so they say. It's true that we fell for this trap. And that we run the risk of not being able to go back. But what's wrong with that? Thinking we'd back down because of something like that is a huge mistake. That's my line. Thinking your little shutdown plan will succeed is a huge mistake. Huh? You're totally overestimating those chumps over there. There's no way they'll start the shutdown sequence. Why not? Look upon their faces. They look like piglets who were forced to watch their mom roasting on a spit. There's no fucking way they'll initiate the shutdown just to go back to being ultimate despair. That is... well... Junko, I don't care what you say. I've decided to believe in everyone. It's true that they walked the wrong path before, but that's all in the past now. What I believe in is not their past, but their futures. No matter what you do to me, I will never fall into despair! Ah, oh, wrong, wrong. I'm not the one who's gonna make you fall into despair. That's the Mastermind's job, and they'll be appearing very soon. Mastermind? Mastermind? Someone else is coming? That can't be. It's just a bluff. You should never make the last character who appears in a detective story turn out to be the mastermind. But I always fall into that pattern, so I was kind of worried about that. Enough already. What are you talking about? Oh well. Let's bring him out with lots of energy. It's Mr. Izuru Kamakura! Izuru... Kamakura? That name. I've heard it before. That person was called the Ultimate Hope. But that shouldn't be all he was. That's right. I've seen a person called Azuru Kamakura somewhere else. As I recall, that person was... A dark neighbor of destruction. <laughs> I see! Azuru Kamakura? Isn't that the name of the founder of Hope's Peak Academy? It was written on the placard beneath the portrait of the Academy's founder. That name... It was definitely Izuru Kamakura, right? However, based on the information I know, the man known as Izuru Kamakura... If I recall, he's a super genius who acquired many talents. He was even called the Ultimate Pope, right? Hmm? Does the Founder have the same name as that Ultimate Hope guy? Is that kind of coincidence even possible? The Future Foundation might know something, right? How about it, Kyoko? Even within Hope's Peak Academy, there's very little information about a person called Izuru Kamukura. It's a mystery if such a person ever really existed. And not just that, the matter was closed without ever being settled because of that incident. If you do not know, then please allow me. Providing hopelessly skilled explanations is a quirk of mine. The reason Izuru's existence continues to be such a mystery is because the Academy hid it. Why did the Academy hide his existence? If I recall, 
They were trying to protect their superior talent. They even called it Mankind's Hope, correct? However, that prodigious student ended up killing 13 student council members at Hope's Peak Academy. Izuru is the killer responsible for Hope's Peak Academy's biggest, most awful event. And you're the one who set it up, right? Information about Izuru completely vanished after that incident. We thought Junko and Ashima killed them? Don't say such cruel things. <laughs> Izuru Kamakura is very much alive. Isn't that right, Hajime? Huh? What? I am... What? Like I said, you're Izuru Kamakura. Huh? Alrighty! If you don't understand, I'll explain it to you till you do understand. You're Izuru Kamakura, you're Izuru Kamakura, you're Izuru Kamakura, you're Izuru Kamakura, you're... Izuru Kamakura, you're... Hold on! Seriously, what are you talking about? Liar! There's no way... There's no way Hajime is Izuru Kamakura! Izuru is that ultimate hope, right? But... Hajime is... That's right. Hajime is one of those reserve course dropouts and has no talent whatsoever. But the fact that he's really Izuru Kamakura makes all this much more hopeless. I'm... Izuru... Kamakura? Good news, Hajime! Even though you were mocked for being a reserve course student, he had a talent all along! Ultimate Hope! How can someone from the reserve course have such an amazing talent like that? In order to hide Izuru's identity, was he hidden in the reserve course? Then Hajime's name is fake? Th there's no doubt I'm Hajime Hinata! I've always had that name, ever since I was born! Then Izuru is your fake name? Hey, you weren't lying to us, right? I do not want any more last-minute plot twists! <laughs> Could it be created hope? That might be Izuru. Oh my goodness, there's so much white noise. I'm the ultimate hope? And the current me? And Izuru Kamakura? Uh, what did what did Host Peak Academy do to me? Good news, Hajime. Even though you were mocked for he had a talent all. How can someone from have such an amazing? In order to hide, it, was he hidden in the reserve? Then Hajime's name is. Th there's no doubt. I'm, I've always had that name. Then Izuru is your fake name? Hey, you weren't lying to us, right? I do not want any more last-minute plot twists. Could it be created hope? That must be it! Break. Created hope. Hope cultivation Oops. plan. What is that? A while back, I saw a file kept by the Future Foundation. For many years, Hope's Peak Academy was researching a breakthrough plan to cultivate personal talent. It's true, it was a breakthrough plan. After all, it was a plan to create the perfect genius. Create? For the longest time, the Hope Cultivation Plan was the earnest wish of Hope's Peak Academy. In fact, that's why the Academy was established. Part of that plan was researching the talents of Ultimates. Because the plan was so important, they adopted the name of the Academy's founder and called it the Izuru Kamakura Project. Izuru Kamakura Project? Just a little while ago, they were finally able to reach the experimental stage of that plan. From there, they set their sights on the reserve course dropouts to use them as lab rats. Why did they use the reserve course as lab rats? A plan to create talent artificially requires test subjects that are wholly lacking in talent. From that group of reserve course students, the one who was finally chosen was Hajime, who stands before you now. Why me? Because you admired Hope's Peak Academy more than anybody else. Huh? You still don't get it. You were used by the Academy. They exploited your feelings of admiration toward hope and talent just to use you as a lab rat. What? See, didn't I tell you? The moment you cling to talent and hope, despair has already set in. Lies. 
That's definitely a lie. And after many surprises, Hajime Hinata was transformed into Izuru 1.0. Did you say transformed? And what did they do to him? Unless you're willing to go to extremes, it's impossible to change a normal person into a perfect genius. So naturally, they went to extremes. By directly interfering with his brain, Hope's Peak Academy transformed Hajime Hinata into a completely different person whose specialty is talent itself, known as Izuru Kamakura. Eventually, Izuru became an ultimate despair, thanks to me. But all I did to Izuru was simply break his spirit. That's nothing compared to what Hope's Peak Academy did to him. Not even close. Seriously. It's scary how determined the researchers were to mess with the human brain that much. Doing such inhumane acts that nobody else is capable of with such a calm mind and a steady hand. I admire it so much, it makes my mind numb. By the way, you're just a simple avatar right now. So even if you touch your head, you won't feel the scar. <laughs> Did they really do something like that? But if you think about it, Hajime gets out of here. He's gonna be a super genius, right? Like I said, he's not Hajime. He's a completely different person whose specialty is talent itself. D different person? How is he different? All of his senses, emotions, thoughts, and hobbies that interfere with acquiring talent have been excised. Huh? All of his memories of the past have been forcefully suppressed into the darkest recesses of his mind. Huh? Emotions? Thoughts? Hobbies? He doesn't even have a memory? It sounds like he is a completely different person. So that's why it's so surprising that Hajime even exists here at all. Even if he's just an avatar. The Neo World program must have dug up those memories and rebuilt his old personality from data from the past. I cannot help but feel impressed that the Neo World program was able to accomplish such a feat. But as for Hajime, he probably would have been better off if he stayed erased. Then, when Hajime returns to his original state after the shutdown... He'll disappear. D disappear All that will remain is Izuru Kamakura, an entirely different personality created by Hope's Peak Academy. He will no longer be Hajime Hinata. D disappear I'm going to disappear. D disappear. 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 Disappear, disappear, disappear. Disappear, 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 disappear. But, no matter what happens, it's of no concern to me. I will not be able to participate in what lies ahead. Huh? Really? I don't really understand, but... I guess we have to part ways for, for a while. That's disappointing. We seem to get along pretty well. Hey, can I see you again? There is no reason to meet again. After all, you are boring. Your talent, your thoughts, your entire existence is boring to me. You really don't play along, do you? <laughs> All right, we're gonna wrap this episode up there. We'll see you next time for who knows, last part maybe? Maybe there'll still be two more, three more? Don't know, we'll see. See you next time.